So this is part two of the dynamic series and in this tutorial we're going to go through initial velocity and initial angular velocity. So I'm just going to create a sphere. I'm going to move it up and I'm going to create a floor object. And I'm going to go to my sphere and add a rigid body tag, simulation tags, rigid body. And then I'm just going to control, copy and paste this over to my floor object, hold down control or command and drag. And if I play this scene back, um, the sphere just falls down and hits the ground. So if I go to my spheres simulation tag, we have this uh, option, custom initial velocity. So if I check this, we get some further options. And we have initial linear velocity, where we can set a speed in centimeters per second. And we have initial angular velocity, which is basically a spin. So if I want this uh, sphere to move along the z-axis, that will be the third value here. So I'm just going to give it 100 centimeters a second and play back my animation. So as you can see, it did a little kind of hop and it starts rolling. So I'm just going to increase this to 500 centimeters. And we can see the sphere gets a little push in the Z direction. And if we make this minus 500, it's going to move in the opposite direction. Like that. And I'm just going to try out the y-axis. So this should mean it's going to move straight up. Yeah. So likewise, we have these three values for angular velocity. And the sphere is set to heading, pitch, and bank rotation. So, so this is basically heading, this is pitch, and this is bank. So if I want to rotate this um, along pitch, I can set the second value to maybe 90 degrees. See what that does. Might make it minus 200. Spin in the opposite direction. Try minus 500 degrees. So you can get some interesting results. Lastly, um, I'm just going to reset these values and I'm going to rotate my sphere slightly. So basically, if I add um, if I add an initial velocity along Z, it's going to shoot up now, kind of like a cannonball. So I'm going to set Z to 500 centimeters a second. I'm just going to tilt it up a bit more. And I'm going to increase the Z velocity to 1200. Actually, that's too much. I'm going to try 600. And I'm going to place a cube object in my scene. So I'm just going to move this here. Right now the sphere is just passing through the cube. So I'm going to copy and paste the rigid body tag to the cube. Control drag. And uh, it's copied over the initial velocity. So I'm just going to go into the cube simulation tag and turn off the Z velocity. And now we have a simple collision. we made this uh, cube bigger, larger, then it's going to be more difficult for the sphere to knock down. As you can see, it's resisting the sphere because since the cube is larger, it, it seems to have more mass now and the sphere is unable to topple it. So that's a very basic introduction to initial velocity. And thanks for watching.